Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sunny. So today I have a bunch of samples that I ordered from Lucky Scent and I am going to organize them into my sample organizer here. So this is my plastic bin organizer. I ordered this from Amazon. It's not like the best way. Um, it's not like the best organizing piece to be honest. It's kind of like flimsy and you know these plastic pieces don't really stay put but serving its purpose for now and I have these little stickers that have the alphabet letters and what I do is um, I organize them by the um, perfume house or brand name so as you can see I have these here and that's what I'm going to make out of these guys the reason why I move these samples over to these spray sample bottles is because I honestly don't think you get a full test, like a good test out of these. What I think you're supposed to do is use that longer um, plastic piece in there and kind of like dab it across your wrist and that's how you test it. But honestly, I feel like you get such a better um, experience if you put it into like a spray bottle like this, which would cover more um, surface area on your skin so you can actually test the perfume better. So that's why I like to move these over. I've also had these like little plastic pieces like break off. I've had issues where I was forcing these open and then it just spilled all over me. So that was like a waste of a sample. But I know that it's time consuming to kind of move these over, but I think if you really care about archiving or sampling properly, I think this is a good investment of your time. Um, and also if you really love perfume, this is the way to go. So I have these open. I place these um, on a flat surface so that they are not touching any other scents or fragrances. And then now I'm going to carefully open this one up. So I'm gonna pour this in here. And when there's like a bubble, sometimes it stops coming out. So you, you have to kind of like Tilt it, it's a little scary, so you have to be very careful um, and you have to have kind of like stable hands, which I'm thankful that I do have. I have pretty stable hands, so I was able to get that in there safely. And then I'm gonna quick close this as soon as I can because I don't want that air to get into it too much because that obviously makes the scent go off um, quicker. So and I also have these labels, um, stickers, but they don't really stick to the glass evenly, like they kind of peel off at the bottom, which is why I kind of secure it with the scotch tape like this so that they don't, you know, peel off the sides. But um, I think I got these from Amazon too a long time ago. I'm not really sure um, if they exist. I'll link it to the bottom. I'm, I don't have an affiliate link. I love like getting tips on how to organize and stuff like that. So. And I love this one because it comes with a bunch of different types of stickers. So I like that they kind of look vintage-ish. So anyway, um, this is what I'm using to make these labels. got these samples from the store um, they give you I think two samples per bottle that you purchase because there's so little in the bottle I don't I don't think at this point it's worth it but the most of the samples that you order from lucky scent they really fill it up to the top so it's definitely worth it for um, moving over to the sample bottle As I said before they really typically fill these bottles to the top So I finally got done moving this pile of samples and neatly um, getting them into these sample spray bottles and also getting all the labels on there. So these are the six 
um, samples that I made for myself and then th and these were the scents that were in the masculine sample pack and I'm so excited to try these and I'm going to keep them out of this archive um, archive here I actually like to try them I like to um, take my notes on them and test them for you know two to three times before um, before they make their way into this archive box so they'll probably go into like a little bowl or something like that before so that I can test them for the next few weeks um, I'll try to make a video maybe uh, of some of my favorites out of this pack um, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in that um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I love getting organized and do I think everyone should be doing this? No, I don't think um, You know everyone needs to even do this for me personally. I'm trying to learn about perfumes. I'm trying to understand different notes um, different formulations uh, different houses. I don't have the luxury of like being a master perfumer that has a huge library of individual notes. For example, I don't know what a real musk like musk alone by itself smells like i mean i can read about it i can you know watch people uh talk about it and describe it to the scents that are similar or whatever um i think musk is an illegal ingredient or something like that and that's why there are a lot of synthetics and also like i i don't know what patchouli smells like you know in its raw form so yeah i used to work in a flower shop so i know a lot of floral scents but you know you you get my point like there are certain notes out there that I cannot grab a hold of um, by itself in its purest form so this is the best way I can train my nose and that is by sampling and you know I'm kind of nerdy too so <laughs> you know building this like little library of um, samples gives me such joy. I do want to get like a really pretty box one day and I'll have a better system or whatever but anyway this will do for now. But. Um, I hope you found this video interesting. Maybe um, it will be helpful for somebody trying to get into fragrance or niche fragrances. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me for today's video again. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.